FIA president tried to cancel Las Vegas GP and withdraw license days before event. A president Mohammed Ben Soleim allegedly tried to withdraw the license for last year's Las Vegas Grand Prix just days before the event was set to take place. The claim comes from the same whistleblower that said Ben Sulayem told officials to overturn a penalty handed to Fernando Alonso at the Saudi Arabian GP last year. The report from BBC Sport suggests the FIA president told organisers not to certify the Las Vegas circuit for the race at the back end of the 2023 season. Max Verstappen ran out as the eventual winner, but the whistleblower says they were told on behest of the FIA president to find a way to stop the circuit from being passed as safe. It's suggested that an FIA spokesperson said, from a sporting and safety perspective, the Las Vegas circuit approval followed FIA protocol in terms of inspection and certification. The accusation is part of a report by the FIA's compliance officer to its ethics committee which the BBC claims to have seen. Quoting the whistleblower, the report states, the purpose was to find fault with the track in order to withhold the license, before later adding, asked to be more specific, the whistleblower said that issues on the circuit were meant to be artificially identified regardless of their actual existence, with the ultimate goal of withholding the license. The race went ahead because no faults could be found with the circuit. But BBC Sport believes different officials, who were said to be present when the alleged conversations took place, have an alternative recollection of the events compared to the whistleblower. It comes amid a turbulent time for President Ben Salayim, who was earlier this week accused of interfering with the Saudi Arabian GP. The penalty saw the Spanish racer drop from third to fourth only for his podium position to be reinstated hours later as per the same whistleblower. Also revealed by BBC Sport, it's mooted Ben Sulaim, who wasn't present at the Saudi Arabian race, called FIA's vice president for sport for the Middle East and North Africa region and insisted the penalty be revoked. Alonso was later bumped back up to the podium spot that had previously been taken away from him.